Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Merry Christmas. Welcome to TCM. For the past week, we've had nothing but holiday classics. Now, on Christmas night, we turn our attention to thievery. Clever thievery. We have a lineup of Christmas capers scheduled, intricate schemes hatched to snatch art, bags of money, or priceless gems. And we begin tonight with Audrey Hepburn and Peter O'Toole heading the cast of a film directed by William Wyler. From 20th Century Fox in 1966, How to Steal a Million. Hepburn plays the daughter of a criminal, a man who has quite literally forged his way to success, makes a good living making fake art. But his luck evading the law may have run out after he loans a phony statuette to a Paris museum. Late one night, Hepburn encounters a suave burglar, that's O'Toole, caught snooping around for a faux Van Gogh, uh, faux go, as they're known in the art world. They're not. Hepburn sees in O'Toole an opportunity to get her dad out of trouble. This marked a reunion for director William Wyler and Audrey Hepburn. Wyler played a critical role in turning Hepburn into a star with her Oscar-winning turn in Wyler's 1953 picture, Roman Holiday. He cast her in the lead despite her status as an unknown in Hollywood with only limited experience and mostly small roles in European movies. Moreover, she was so nervous she blew her audition, but Wyler cast her anyway seeing the magic that movie audiences would soon appreciate. They worked together a second time in the Children's Hour from 1961. They hoped to replicate Roman Holiday's success by again mixing a bustling European city with Hepburn's chemistry with a dashing leading man, plus plenty of chic fashions courtesy of costume designer Hubert de Givenchy. We may not have the best script in the world, Weiler told his editor Robert Swink, but we're going first class. Film also features an early score from John Williams, billed then as Johnny Williams. The supporting cast behind Hepburn and O'Toole includes Eli Wallach, Hugh Griffith, and a French character actor who goes by the name Moustache. And yes, he has one. From Fox in 1966, How to Steal a Million. How to Steal a Million was the third and final collaboration between Audrey Hepburn and director William Wyler. Her Oscar-winning Hollywood debut came in Wyler's timeless 1953 romantic comedy, Roman Holiday. They next paired up for a daring 1961 drama, The Children's Hour. Intriguingly, Wyler envisioned making a follow-up to Roman Holiday, a plan to reunite Hepburn with her co-star, Gregory Peck, but it never panned out. After Wyler completed How to Steal a Million, his next project was a biopic of General George Patton called Blood and Guts. However, Wyler had a bit of a past with the film star, George C. Scott. Just a couple of years earlier, Wyler fired the actor from How to Steal a Million after Scott showed up late to the set. Wyler eventually dropped out of Blood and Guts, turning over the directing reins to Franklin J. Schaffner, who'd win the Oscar for the film, retitled Patton. Ahead tonight, TCM's Capers for Christmas continues as Steve McQueen and Faye Dunaway Play the sexiest game of chess you've ever seen. Well, I suppose that depends on how much chess you watch. The Thomas Crown Affair is next on TCM.